Yes, I'll be well to, to speak here. Rather successfully, I might add. And they are also not tired.
it on the plaza before you can leave. This is a Jeff Pinkett's Horus Cheetah Cat. Look at this. Oh, is going around. Uh, the yellow submarine's we'll hoping to And if we can make the yellow submarine go about 10 more times around first before we, uh, before we open the game. Oh, look, look out. Look out. The submarine is shooting at us. I was in, um, when I lived in California, they had electric buses that I rode to the park station. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And they could only run for about half the day, five hours, I guess, and then they could go in and recharge. <laughs> well, they never run out of gas. That's no, nope. never bike it. What? Here comes Ludafest! Woo! Here comes Ludafest! La, 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 la. It'll get better, I think.
And then there's Aaliyah. Having a good time. <laughs> Is there a way to, do you guys have the cords to watch it on the TV? Yeah, we might have them. I don't know. Next song is a little ditty about um, Jack and Diane. Jack and Diane. <laughs> little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two men. Hey, hot man. Jack is gonna be a football star. Diane's on me. Oh, Jackie's car. <laughs> Songs about white tea. Yeah. Man, you you have you 
haven't put them to a test yet. Where did you get on this hill out there? Yeah, no kidding. Well, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on them out there. Yeah, but we can gear way down though, and it's it doesn't you know it doesn't take any more or less force. It's just in case. Of, if I can remember how I tied the bowl in again, my Boy Scout days are <laughs> long gone. Run the tree up to, through the hole, down, but down through the hole. Something like that. Yeah. Something about a rabbit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Isn't that the tiny Something somewhere in there. Yeah. Up through the hole, around the tree, and back down through the hole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wrong. Oh, I got twisted wrong way. It's country punk. Oh God. <laughs> Scratch up from the record. The sand is hurting my tender feet. The air smells like rotting fish and solar feet. I hate the people on the beach with their towels and umbrellas. They're insane. I don't want to be on the beach. on the beach like a barrier reef soaking <laughs> up the stupid sun while the radio was blasting fun 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 I don't want to be on the beach no fun I don't want to be on the beach no fun no I don't want to be on the beach I don't want to be on the beach no fun no Dustin. Give it up for John Arcapoco. in the background walking the bikes up.
Straighten out your front wheel. <laughs> Turn it to the right. There we go. Go, Lubitsch. Right. Third time. Yeah. Yeah. Finding it. We have one sheet. The ocean, the girls. And another. Wow. 
What? <laughs> what? No, this is funny. What's going on? Yeah, it does. He was like, yeah, come here, try it. May we stencil you? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Stay in my stomach? No, not at all. Well. This is a non-toxic paint. <laughs> it's made with soy, soy ink. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lee is getting her stomach stenciled at the moment. Make sure this is good. All right. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Woo! There goes the yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Yay! Here they come. Oh, God. oh God, that's really funny. It's the fish. The fisk. Fisk. Yeah, fish, fish. <laughs> Gross fish, fish, it's all the same thing. Oh, yes. It's all good. Crusty fish, fish. Thanks, fish. <laughs> Woody fish. <laughs> Woody frisk. <laughs> How are you doing today? Do we have any fades on this thing? Oh, I hope Chuck isn't too tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's subgroupies! The humility of being cast! Subgroupies! <laughs> That's right! Yeah, my camera doesn't take that It's the sub coming! And hell's coming with me! Your father is smiling back here. It's because he hasn't done the show. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. yeah, you'll go home tonight. Hope you'll see this on your back. You'll be fast. Thank you. Oh, yeah! That shirt's kind of funky, too. Yeah, so dumb for pain. Retire, Racer! Racers don't retire! It's all you!
Which one? They're going to come over this side as far as I can. I see it then over here. Well, let's see how this ends. Kristen? Your eyes open if you start coming over. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Because the tire's going to turn really easy. Don't worry about it now. You're done. Yep. They moved the dog. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You're going the right direction anyway. Tammy, stay out of the way. That's right. <laughs> uh, don't turn your wheel, don't turn your wheel. Straighten now, straighten your wheel now. You still turn. Straight down. There you go. Right. Yeah. Woo! 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 It's scraping. Mm -hmm. It's like plowing. <laughs> you guys leaving? Or? Yeah. Oh, great. I hit it. I hit it. Alright, folks. Let's get it. Woo! 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 Absolutely. Completely waterproof. I don't care if it goes in the bay. This is Dr. Croc, the one that rolled yesterday. Yeah, make a lot of noise. This is good. <laughs> I don't know if you Yeah. 
the channel on this one, so anyway. Why don't you put it on this one too? I mean, the, the horse is when I'm just so now. I got half of that on that one, but the thing that we've done is, is, is putting those parts in the water. You know, it's fine for the big police, you know, folks. It looks any better in the water than just going down the road. It looks so unstable. Free food and hot chocolate. Excuse me. Yes, dear. Somewhere over there. Get the rag out of the way. Go, Leah. How are things? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. The South Point, what is it? I can't let out Jetty. South Jetty? The weather has taken a nasty turn. Really? Now, yes. What is this? This is hot chocolate. This is mocha. Jeez, they're really close. Just a little bit to warm our tummies as we wait for the food. So where, where's my dad? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> He's at a store. He's what? He's at a store. Ludafisk broke. He's going to get another part. So it's, it's broken just a few times this far. So. This time it's a little seri more serious. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, but some parts broke and they didn't have one of the parts that they needed. Previous times they've just broken a string and been able to fix it quite easily, but mm, at this again. point it's uh, a little more difficult. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Yes, it is. <laughs> what happened? The leak was sprung. The <laughs> what? Oh my God. The spring. The spring wow. leak. Right there. And then right here, too, by my feet. My feet. That's quite a milestone. Right there. And Kate's foot. And Aliyah's feet. You know what? Oh, don't pant too fast there, uh, Megan. Right, right. Hi. Good. It's terribly wet out here, and it's becoming very miserable, but the good food is warming our is it good? souls and bodies. Good. Yes. Right. Warming our spirits. It's doing well, Aliyah. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, let's have a look outside here. Maybe Just kidding. <laughs> Megan, how are you today? Pondering life? Cold and tired. Yeah. 
Our tent is dripping. Our mash, yes. our mash unit is dripping. Okay. Right there. The, the, oh, they got a cover for it. They do not have a cover, but there is a cover. Yes, but there are many more. And a large one right there. Yes. Hi, how are you doing today? We have to, we have to interview you. Oh. we have to interview you. So, how, how was the crossing? Great. Crossing was wonderful. Any difficulties uh, during the crossing? Oh, yeah. no, and, and after the crossing? After the crossing, uh, Paul did a dumb thing. <laughs> he left the switch on and burned up the motor. Oh. Bad boy. <laughs> so, are we getting that fixed at the moment? Uh, hopefully your dad is going to be fortunate to find a... Uh, I'll be out of the way. Oh, yeah, got a video on the team coming in. And this is. I got another roll in here if you want one. I got another roll of film in here. This is the end of the race here coming in. These are the crowds in downtown Ferndale.
Well, the spirit of the new Sega Queen was all over. We saw everything. I think you and I are probably the only people here that aren't covered with mud. How come that is? Because the glorious queen never gets dirty. All hail 1998. Starting line, there was many, of course, that broke before they even made the first round around the plaza. 
<laughs> maybe before we announce our first winner, maybe we should have glorious founder Hobart Brown come up and give his thoughts on this year's great race. Yes, Hobart Brown. This was a wonderful race. I had the time of my life. I didn't get to race with you, but I did get to make these medals. So that was fun. And I really did have fun. And I'm going to feel really good. But now we always have a tradition here. If there's any one of you, we know you all work and you did this all because you wanted to and you wanted to really kind of fall in love with yourself and fall in love with life and everything else. We know you did it for that reason. However, there might be somebody in here, usually born on the side of Virgo, <laughs> uh, who needs to be thanked. So what we'd like to do is have you raise your hand if you want to be thanked. If you feel like you work, then you, you need to be thanked. we got to clear this up right now before we go any further. Anyone here? Okay, there we go. you got to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, now. now. These, these, oh, these people now need to be thanked. And we understand that. So we don't want anyone going away from here thinking they weren't thanked, okay? So on the count of three, I'd like to really give them a good thank you, okay? One, two, three. Thank you. All the time. Thank you very much, all of you. We know we didn't want that, but now that all of that's been paid, we can go on with the reward. Okay, let's get ready to party now. The dark I just told you what it was about. Okay, well, the winner is Chaos One. Even an award person up here, the party award has cleared it. Can we get another volunteer? Very good. Where's Chaos One? Are they here? They broke out again. There they are. Uh, we're the biggest and dinosaur. It doesn't get any better. Uh, thanks a lot. You guys are a lot of, a lot of fun. I want to say thank you to Dwayne Flappo. Yeah. Yeah, him and Ken, they gave me the keys to the kinetic lab after we broke down at the Manila Dunes, and we worked until we got only a direct drive hooked into it. That final glory, we came down the road with all we had. And thanks for a lot of music we had across the thing, the drag race we had along the way. Thanks a lot. but we're going to hold up on that one because we're going to go for Worst Honorable Mention. And um, that used to be one of my favorite awards. I think Burly Man uh, has uh, one of those. Three of those. Plus a poor pitiful me award. Oh, you, you were racking them up there, Burly Man. I used to be bad. One of those awards I, I made for you. I tell you, this, this, this honorable, Worst Honorable Mention winner, they really deserve this because they had such a smile on their face. They were a crack up. They said they spent two hundred dollars. And you said they should have spent two hundred and one dollars. That thing was a wreck. Worst honorable mention to Family Fun. Because <laughs> they're not here to uh, get this award. They know they want it and we'll get the award to them somewhere. We need a, an awards person. Just, could someone volunteer to look at the awards and get we need a trophy person. Oh, good. Yellow Submarine, Rebecca, thank you very much. Okay. The most awesome big group I've ever seen in my life, I think. Mean, yeah. The big group, unbelievable. Why come Hobart never had a pit crew that good or us when we were raised? I mean, where did you get the... Well, was it the pound or what? We're looking at the wrong place. Good question. Jane makes it easy. And always fun. <laughs> no comment. Did you just say June will be the end of the month? I think that's what she said. Engineering. Rigs that have n n no connection to Hobart whatsoever. <laughs> they exude uh, kinetic ingenuity, not necessarily fast, not necessarily functional, but just unique. Engineering. That's me. You who? <laughs> the award goes to Loot Fist. Yeah! Now these guys are from uh, Port Townsend, I believe, aren't they? Port Townsend? 
Carlton is our race. We're from Bainbridge Island, Washington. And uh, I guess we did better this year than we expected we would. It's much better in the water. We're going to go back by water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like they coming all the way down the water. Wait, 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 wait. There's something that everybody should know. These two guys did this without chains, without bicycle chains. There was no chains in this machine. No wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. We, we have industrial chains in it, but we don't have any bicycle parts except a couple incidental things like the uh, tire. We've got a little air pump to pump up our hydraulic head tank, and we've got a, a seat post quick release on the uh, front wheel hydraulic uh, handle so we can get it out of the way. And we do have bicycle pedals attached to it, like but, but derailleurs and stuff are a real foreign concept to us. <laughs> So that means the rest of us have been doing it all wrong all these years. Okay, who they bring up the, the tablet? We have Spirit. 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 Oh, here, Mr. Brown. Now this is the Spirit Award. This is the one I get to give, and it's the one that's kind of, you know, like everybody gets their awards and they all deserve them. In fact, I wish there were more awards every year. But nevertheless, you got to pick some. So I get this chance to get one I think is really important. And I think this is a, a racer who's put a lot of years in and everything else. And I think it's just somebody that needs recognizing. Doesn't always get recognized, but certainly is always seen. And that is the, should I announce it? The Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Obviously, a bit of sabotage going on. The Spirit Award did not go to the Yellow Submarine. Sit down, guys. I'm sorry. We just had to play a cool joke on you, you know? Because you deserve it. Sit down. The Spirit Award, exemplifying kinetic spirit, goes to the Miranda Mustang.
short. Um, I'd just like to thank our sponsors, which is LED Machine, which, uh, you know, being my uncle and all, but he, I, could just, I could just send him drawings and he would send me parts, and it makes, it makes this whole kinetic racing a lot easier. <laughs> but, um, um, and also, Britain Pharmacy has donated a garage for us to work on our bike, and uh, Sharon Park Gallery, who made a lot of uh, uh, buttons for us. And, and <laughs> get better and better and better. We need a, we don't have a big trophy, we just have a little thing with a pair of keys to it. Oh yeah, the keys, they might want the keys and they might want this. Recognize this folks, you know what that is? That's a pink slip, yeah. We're not talking expulsion, we're talking pink slip here. The winner is? The winner of this year's Mediocre 1962 Oh, that's who it is, huh? Well, let's see, any more bribes? I'm going on. They, they hit the iceberg. Guess who Titanic? They're a big time help. Uh, we couldn't they were big. Out there. I saw a big, big group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. well thank you that one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We love you. Give it up for Titanic. And Tim just came to me a little while ago and said that he, up until recently, was still driving the first car that I gave away as Mediocre Award. And that was a Vega. And of course, you've seen all the ones in between. And uh, this one's autographed, of course, by all of you folks. And if you haven't autographed it, of course, make sure you now dedicate it to Titanic and stick an iceberg on the front of the form so that will be right at home. And uh, Ted Suggs are... Hey, there he is, Ted Sucks. Now, he has, of course, drawn another poster this year, and he wants to give one to all of you racers. So come up through the evening and see Ted. He will autograph it and give it to you of the latest uh, Kinetic Sculpture Race poster by Ted Sucks. So, thank you, Ted. And uh, Ted, that's, Tim Richter says he's looking for another Vega, so I guess that, that means that... Uh, you better race next year and I'll have to find one. Oh, by the way. Uh, Ted wants to say something. Yeah, of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> I might add that the Yellow Submarine this year will get their just desserts. <laughs> and next year, I may already have next year's Mediocre Award. And it's, uh, so far it looks like a great car. It's a 56 Plymouth Belvedere, and there's been one running around town that looks just like it. It's the same one, 56 two-tone Belvedere. Ooh. Uh, okay, let's go on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Hobart's announced that the Aces will not be determined uh, before the end of the evening, so the Aces will get their awards eventually because they're still working on all the Ace information, but we have the final two big awards tonight. First of all, it's the Founders Award. Hobart, would you like to come up and... It's the Founders Award. And this year I get to get the Founders Award. I always do it. I like to pick a crowd, a crew out there, that, that <laughs> a crew or a sculpture, that does a good job and it certainly has the spirit and everything in the race. So therefore, 
I think the one that, is, that we've seen a lot of, we see a lot of, is the yellow submarine. <laughs> slippery slimy slope thing it was kind of up in the air and the minute we started doing it my crew just went crazy they took these ropes and strapped them on the front and started pulling they pulled me in a waist deep in the water and all the way through the uh, all the way across the river and through the through the mud and once we got on the land they wouldn't let go they just kept pulling they're like no chuck quit pedaling you're going too fast we want to pull caked in mud so hey how about a round of applause for my crew I know this means a lot because uh, if anybody knows the race, it's you. And you're giving us the uh, esteemed founders award. Uh, we do have a little award. We like. We hear it. I don't know about that. Uh, so we do have an award we'd like to give out. Um, there's a lot of really great spirit that goes on in the race, and there's people who help out um, selflessly. I know that. Um, who was it? We got to use the um, kinetic lab. And uh, last year. Somebody in this room bailed us out of potentially having to do some weirdness to the sub to make it run, or not run at all. And that person gave us a differential one day before the race, and uh, I think it was the only spare he had, and that man was Ken Beidelman. And we like to call him. Those broke down. 
it looks like a, a quarter crossing the finish line, it has to be them again. Yeah? Them? Yeah, again. Don't they have to finish? Don't they have to finish? Second to last. We all live in the about all the stuff about how to do with 
how, how do you, you make do with what you have? If you if you need a bike part or if you need anything or if you need anything, you can do it with what you have and you can get by. He taught me all my all the ways that I I know how to build stuff and everything, work with my hands. And I, w I wanted to build a Viking ship this year because my dad was from Norway when when uh, he came over here when he was like 19. And I wanted to do a Viking ship there this year and I didn't because I came up with this bass backwards and I knew that he would love that because he used to always take me fishing. And uh, anyway, it was, it was neat because there was another Viking ship that there was a Ludafist. <laughs> And uh, we've, ate, we've actually eaten Ludafist to my family. <laughs> and you don't ever want to eat Ludafist. <laughs> but I want to thank you all and Hobart Brown for starting this race, and Bill Neal for having yellow hair. <laughs> and Dana Ball, everybody, thank you very much. Hey, Dwayne, singing is pretty darn good, isn't it? <laughs> what I meant to do first, before we started all this, was do the disclaimer, because every time you guys read the results later and say, but that wasn't there, and, and he wasn't mediocre because the printout's wrong. Well, you know, we gave Grandpa Ace Wing, so if we can do that, we can do anything. And you have to remember that the, the, the decision of the judges, whoever they are, because we don't even know, is final. We do know? Well, we're not going to tell because you'd probably kill them. So, anyway. I think we have a couple more things to do. And just want the, the disclaimer. At planet, instead of having you get just aluminum wings from the pilots, we want to give you something that would be worth it. So, technically, your wings are worth more than your entry fees. So, that felt good about that. So, we've been working night and day on these. We just put work in many doors. In fact, wing sculpture is so sticky. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and also, I might as well, while I'm here on the microphone, the Loser's Award is back installed. And now, those of you who don't want a Loser's Award, please don't take one. But those of you who do, this is the only race or, or contest in the world where you can receive a Loser's Award. It's good copy, and we've had the back. Now, any of you that use your bike to Loser's Award, we can give uh, the rest of your crew one, too. Also, we can make it for you. So anyway, that, those are the things that come up. We're going to have to see you after this. But you can't take a Loser's Award if you want any other award. So, I think they left me here. <laughs> anyway, how are we going to do this on the wings for the pilots? We need to have the pilots come up here. How are we going to do that? Wait, uh, I'll tell you what, after this is over, come up and then we'll take you off the list and make sure you get your wings, okay? And then we can talk to you individually about whether you're an ace or not, all right? That's it. And then the losers also. Now, if you don't want a loser's award, you don't have to take it, but we hope that you do. We've got a lot of good copy and good press on the loser's award. Also, uh, I think that's it. Is it? I can't agree with his hand. I'm going to come over with some, with some paperwork. Where are you? Oh, right there. Okay, good. Hi, Dan. So now, Dana, I think this is your show back again. Uh, wait, wait, before he goes on, I, I won't... Are you all in? Okay, so we're going to be up here for after this. I think, did they get any more food back there? We ran out, I know. Yes, yes, it's on the way. It's on the way. The check is in the mail. I'd like to also thank the, the media that was covering the race today, all the cameras, the video crews. I know Channel 3 was here, TV, K I E M TV. Also, KHUM Radio did a great job of covering the race, as did all the other media in the area. We want to thank everybody for making this race bigger and better than ever. Thank you very much, Hobart Brown. One more thing. There's a group that got together to put this on, and that's California Backwoods. I think we did a wonderful job. Where's the connection? Uh, I'd like to say some special thanks, first of all, to Dr. Lee Henderson for taking over scoring and timing, and Jenny, in the back. Oh. Okay, uh, hello, Woody, got an A. Thank you.
got an ace. Now, for those who don't know what an ace is, that means they follow the rules and did the race according to the way they're supposed to be done. They're, they are our professors. Uh, Doc Croc got an ace. Guardian of the Sea got an ace. Henry Metal got an ace. No, no, Henry, I'm sorry, take it back. Henry Metal did not get an ace. Henry Metal uh, failed in a little short time. Okay. Here we go. Let's just get an ace. Thank you. 